On November 5th, 2023, a powerful solar storm swept across our planet. People all around the world could see amazing aurora in the night sky. It was visible far south as Texas and Greece, which was very unusual. The solar storm could have been the strongest in the last 20 years, and if you're among people like me, who didn't manage to see this shining northern southern lights, then carry on watching this video in order to find out more about Aurora and when an event of similar magnitude will be visible in your area. I promise, will be very interesting. Hi there, Mikhailo is here. Before we delve into the characteristics of the recent solar storm, let's recap what these things are and how they form. Aurora, or the northern or the southern lights, are dazzling natural light displays in the Earth's sky, primarily seen in high latitude regions. They're caused by something called coronal mass ejections or CMEs. These are large expulsions of plasma and magnetic fields from the sun's corona, which can travel at incredible speeds, ranging from slower than 250 km per second to as fast as nearly 3000 km per second. The fastest Earth-oriented CMEs can reach our planet in as little as 15 to 18 hours, while slower ones can reach our planet in approximately a few days. Basically, when they reach Earth, energized particles from the Sun slam into our planet's atmosphere, and our planet's magnetic field funnels these particles toward the poles. Thus, the supercharged molecules in Earth's atmosphere trigger this colorful thingies known as aurora. In our case, the colorful aurora was triggered by not one but two CMEs that slammed into Earth on November 4th and 5th. The intensity of this solar storm has been unmatched since the solar storms of 2003. What's interesting is that this event happened during a pretty chill solar cycle 25 when the sun isn't supposed to be very active. By the way, a solar cycle is a roughly 11 year period that describes fluctuations in the sun activity. The current cycle began in December 2019 and as it approaches its maximum, the sun becomes more active, resulting in more solar events like the recent storm. So who knows, maybe we'll eventually experience a more powerful ejection. Before we continue, I need to say something. And no, giant cracks did not form on the surface of the sun, as some questionable media reported. Solar ejections are absolutely normal phenomena, and the recent one wasn't even the most powerful one. Remember, it can always get much, much worse, just like it did in the 19th century. The so-called Carrington event of 1859 was an extremely powerful solar storm. It produced auroras that were so intense that they lit up the night sky to the point where people could read newspapers by their light. They were visible in latitudes close to the freaking equator and some telegraph operators could send and receive messages without using battery power because telegraphs received the current induced by the aurora. If a similar event happened nowadays, we all will probably be fucked. An event of similar magnitude nowadays will completely mess up our communication systems, GPS, electrical infrastructure and spacecraft operations. Entire regions will experience long blackouts and the authorities will have a really hard time trying to fix the grid. Also, astronauts in space will not appreciate such a powerful solar storm as they will be in space where there is no thick atmosphere to protect from solar radiation. According to Wikipedia, the most reliable source of information, the cost of a similar event nowadays in the United States could range somewhere from $700 billion to $3 trillion in 2021 money. Using these uh, funds, you can buy approximately 604 billion double cheeseburger meals. Imagine the loss to the economy. If you're interested in this topic, there is literally an entire report that explores the consequences of a potential disastrous solar storm. Link in the description. In any case, the question is, 
when are we going to be able to witness a spectacle similar to the one that we saw on November 5th. With Solar Cycle 25 in full swing, we're probably in for more geomagnetic storms and beautiful auroras. So simply wait for upcoming opportunities to witness these celestial marvels as they're often reported in the news and very interesting channels. Subscribe! Alright, what are some of the tips to see auroras? Step 1. Wait until auroras are powerful enough to be visible in your area. Step 2. Walk outside to check if the sky is cloudy. Step 3. If you see something like this, congrats on seeing aurora. Step 4. If your city's power grid has failed, you can't use GPS and some funny people in the TV box are talking about a powerful solar storm, well, 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 you're in trouble. Jokes aside, the best way to see aurora is to literally go outside and find a dark place with minimum light pollution. That is the beauty of this astronomical event, since you don't need any equipment to see it. In any case, keep your eyes on the sky and remember to subscribe to very interesting channel to see more videos on space and astronomy. And as always, thank you for watching very interesting videos. Bye.